Hello everybody. This is a 2015 Honda Fit EXL. Uh, this is for replacing the push button start and or possibly repairing it. Uh, some of the symptoms of my has I had repeatedly pressed the button to uh, start or stop the car. Um, it's gotten to the point where it's been, you know, it got to be five minutes and I got a little tired of it. So did a little investigation and through the forums there was a few things that I tried. Uh, the first one was uh, I thought maybe it was a cracked fob from, you know, just from dropping it. And that didn't seem to be it because it didn't make sense because everything was working. It locks, it unlocks, I get close to the car, put your hand on the handle and everything was fine. And um, so I decided to actually take it into the shop and like the day after I put it into the shop he calls me and said that uh, someone in the shop uh, was related to somebody who has COVID and uh, they decided to shut the shop down for two weeks and uh, he'd give me a call and I thought well I'm gonna take this opportunity to see what's wrong with the push button start so I ordered one got it in and uh, we'll uh, take it apart and see what's going on all right the first thing we need to do is take off this beauty ring right here that goes around the speedometer I'm just getting a hold of it uh, careful with it and just pop it out like that set it off to the side and then take off this beauty ring right here in front usually I've had the best luck grabbing it right here get a hold of it I need one of these get one in right there don't break it Set the gun. Just pop it out. Real nice and easy there. Don't break it. There we go. Off to the side. And then this vent's got to come out. It's a little tougher. I believe I went in from the same place over here. Just give it a little tug. that and then there's two screws up here they're both black they need to come out I'll show you a picture of them right there I use a 5 16 socket just loosen it up Just loosen it up, give it some spins, hang on to it, you don't want to lose it in the dash. Put it in your little cup holder there, keep track of it. Cup holder. And then there's one screw on the radio that's up underneath here. We'll get to that next. All right, you got one panel you got to pop out right here. And all you need here is uh, you got to reach in here once you get to the button and press in the side. And then uh, there's a Phillips head screw right here, which I'll show you a picture of right now. You got to take that out. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to pop this little plastic piece out right here, what that looks like, this little cover plate. I'm going to take a screwdriver in here, push that down, bring this back, and when you do this, make sure you're on a flat level surface or the emergency brake is on. Fortunately, I'm on a flat surface. So get that out of the way. 
Okay, so once that screw is out of there, get this thing out, just pull down here. It pops out. Take this little clip off right here. Once you push this thing down, the whole thing should go that way. See that little clip right there? You can just spin this out of the way. Like that. And then, there's a screw for the radio up there that's a 5 16 I'm going to come in from the other side. Alright, so there's a hex bolt up there that's holding the radio on. I'll show you a picture of it here. The best thing to do Put your hand up there. It's a Phillips and a 5 16 Take this 5 16 socket, slide it up to your finger, put it on there. Get that off. Wouldn't just let it drop because there's some sharp stuff up in there that will cut your hands. That should be it. Oh, didn't come out. Oh, I got it. I don't know if we can get your fingers on it. There you go. That in the cup holder. All right, now the radio is going to come out. Just going to pull those tabs up on top, snip back in, slide her out. Oh, that one popped back in. There we go. Now, there's two wires over here, which I say I failed to connect when I did this before. Uh, one of them is for the emergency uh, lights and one's for the passenger airbag, which explains why my light's on. So anyway, those have to come off over here. And then uh, just take your radio. I'm going to set it up on the dash a little bit. It's not going to hurt nothing. I put a towel up here before, which is probably a good idea. So now I have access to this push button. And you can see on here that there's a tab that you push right here and a tab that you push right here. Alright, what you need to do is pull these clips out a little bit so you get a little more dash room. Maybe you can get in there and grab that button. Pull that plug out of there. Up. Okay. There you go. There it is. Let's do a little video about how to take this thing apart. Basically you have three little clips, one here, one here, and one here that you could put a screwdriver into. Pop it out, put your thumb on this thing right here and push this way. Pop that out like that, turn it around, keep your finger on that, push on it. With both fingers, I'm pushing this way, this way, and this way. Put your screwdriver in, pop that out, do the same thing over here. Turn it a little bit, pop that cap out of there. Take 
this little wire off of there. Grab that little circuit board. Pull that thing straight up. The back side of this, you got two little contacts. I'll show you a picture of what they used to look like. This little rubber piece down in here, you pull that out. You take these two things. Those are the two four contacts that touch each other. You take a little uh, rubbing alcohol and some Q-tips and clean that off. And I actually cleaned this off already, obviously. And I took a little uh, pocket knife and scraped them just very lightly to clean off the more residue. This thing back together. That square right there has to go in that square. That little notch in there is for the wire itself. Make sure the wire is in the notch. Slide it back in. Back the way it was. Make sure the pins go through the hole. See how this thing is? Make sure they're all snapped in. So now we're going to go backwards, put it all back together, put that in first, put the clip back on. At this point, everything's plugged back in except for that little plug down here. I suppose I can do it real quick. Now, should go. Step on the brake. So what that was, was after the uh, putting in the old switch, which I will show you, probably not now, but I'll show you the video to it, cleaning it off, so that obviously didn't, cut, didn't uh, fix the problem. So we'll just shoot back through this thing.
has happened. Okay. That's the old button that I cleaned off. Try it again. Try it again. All right, the reason that happened was I had all the doors open in the car and if you read through the forums like I have, you talk, you've seen that they've talked about things like how weak the battery is on these, or how small the battery is on these cars. So that's what happens. Even though I don't have any dome lights on or anything like that, it must open a switch and drains the battery, especially when you had the doors open for a few hours. So that's that. All right, so let's put this thing back together. After finding out the old switch does work, I switched it out and put the new one in because it's a new one, but the other one still works. Snap everything back in. Yes, I did check to see if it was working. It is. those two clips back up snap her back in place Just easier this way. There it is. Very tight. Thing back in before I forget about it. Apparently, it won't. Screw back in over here. There you go. Okay, that's back in. All right, let's just pop this thing back up. Back 
idea. Just like that. Whoops, no, that's not gonna work. Cut. All right, so this concludes the 2015 Honda Fit push button replacement and or repair. Um, I showed you that uh, it did work uh, repairing the button by cleaning off the terminals, putting it back in. Uh, the reason it didn't work earlier was because uh, with all the doors open, uh, the battery ran down a little bit. And if you've done any research on this particular car, uh, a couple places I saw that uh, they talk about how poor the battery is. There's a small battery in here and when it does go out, I'll change it to the next size up. So you can save yourself some money and try this first before you take it to a dealership or, you know, put the money out to buy a brand new button. I mean, either way, you still got to do the same thing. So could save yourself some money, though. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.